So this is a young, healthy young man, eight years old, who was found to have what looks like a nuclear lamellar cataract. He has it in both eyes. His vision has dropped. He does have a little evidence of vernal. He has little bumps here. It looks like trental dots. So he might have some vernal or inflammation before. But either case, we're going to remove the cataract first. The way I like to do cataract is do a scleral incision for my lens implant. Next part of the surgery is really made for just a lensectomy part. Whether you put it on lens or not, this is the same way we would do it. And we're going to use a vitrectomy style of lens removal, but we're going to use mostly vitrectomy and aspiration irrigation. So here's the vitrector. So it's cutting like this. See, we're cutting a hole in the capsule already. Okay, that's pretty good size. So now I'm going to turn the cutter off and just use the IA mode. Now I'm just sucking out the lens. Remember, children lenses are very soft. I like to strip cortex by going side to side and peeling it off. I'm going to take the nuclei now. Okay, now I have access to the other half of the lens. This two-part technique really allows you to really get in there. Okay, and then we mentioned how in cataracts, we like to remove all cortical material. That way you can cause less inflammation. So that looks pretty good. There's some cortex here. So that's pretty much done. The lens is out. We'll open up the bag. Then now we're going to open the scleral incision. That's the only time we really need to open the scleral incision is really to put in the lens. Point straight down and go straight in. This is a 2.75 incision. The bag is intact, so we're going to put the lens inside the bag. So the IOL types, in children, you should put in acrylic lenses. That's pretty well shown that acrylic lenses work best in children. If you don't have access to foldable lenses, then a single piece PMMA is very useful. So here I am just closing this incision site. So the idea is really do the anterior vitrectomy is to cut the posterior capsule and at the same time do a core vitrectomy to break the anterior highlight so there's no scaffolding for those lens particles to regrow. So the way we do it is actually the viscoelastic in the front, so I'm going to go around the lens. So I go behind it, so now I'm enlarging my posterior capsule opening. I like it around four millimeters. Then now I'm going to go deeper in there, do a core vitrectomy to break the anterior hyloid. So you see we have an anterior capsulotomy, posterior capsulotomy. That's all done. Then now I'm going to take out the viscoelastic from the front. If I see any vitreous coming front, I can turn it back to cutter, like right now. If you do a good clean out like we have done, take out all the cortical material, you should not have much inflammation. So I just put them on combined antibiotic steroid eye drops four times a day for about two weeks. And you should get very little inflammation from this. Amblyopia wise, depending on the age, he is eight years old, so chances are he's not going to develop amblyopia, so he, his vision should return pretty quickly. Because we don't have stitches on the corner or anything, and the, we do a scleral incision, we're not going to get much astigmatism at all. So they can get glasses usually within a couple of weeks if they need it. Because he's older, I was able to hydrate the wound and get it closed very quickly, so the chamber is maintained already. And we have a nice casterexis, so we don't really need my if we don't if we don't have it. But I'm going to put it in just to get the pupil down. In a younger child, because the chamber will collapse, it's useful to use myostat myocal just to bring down the pupil. The central visual axis is clear now. We have an anterior capsulotomy, posterior capsulotomy. So pretty much, hopefully, this is the only surgery he's going to need. And that's it. And we're going to patch him for 24 hours. All right. Thank you very much.